Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome back. 613 is your time. Take a look at this picture. So much excitement in the air with Major League Soccer officially giving Austin its first major professional sports franchise. This was two weeks ago. And since that time, the work has been done. The new club has been involved in community outings to get to know people, most recently at this year's MLK March and Festival, and then the fan group Austin Anthem, helping to donate more than half a ton of food to the Central Texas Food Bank. But really, the work has just started for Austin FC, and joining us this morning is the team president, Andy Lochnane. First question, though, uh, how are things going? 2021, I hear, is when we're, we're looking for this team to start playing in Austin, but... Where do we stand in that in that timeline of getting to that point? So you nailed it. We will begin play in Major League Soccer in 2021. Mm -hmm. We will spend the next two plus years mm -hmm. building the team. So that means building infrastructure, a stadium, a training facility. We'll build our staff. Mm -hmm. We'll build our supporter base. We'll be, build our season ticket base. We'll build our corporate partner base. Um, and we'll build trust with the community. But the next two years, we're in building mode. Yeah. Building trust with the community has been important because there has been some opposition when you first announced that you'd be coming to Austin, especially at the site where you're building the stadium. So we do have people who are gathering signatures for a petition to hopefully stop the construction. Tell me the timeline of when you plan to build a stadium because the mayor has said that he doesn't think this is going to get in the way of that. And did that play a role when you decided to maybe speed up the construction at all? We control what's in our control, but we'll we'll plan to break ground on September 1st of 2019. So it's a little later this year, and then we'll have a, you know, roughly an 18 month uh, construction cycle to be ready for spring of 2020 when we'll play our first game. The mayor has said in a very informative and declarative way yeah. that the petition, if it were to advance, um, does not affect the Major League Soccer project in McCalla Place. So um, we're confident we will continue to move forward and begin our construction plans later this fall. Okay. So the people who are pushing that petition, their issue is that this is being built on city land, which you are going to be leasing from the city. It's like you're getting it for free. But I guess in order to avoid all that, why not just buy land, build a stadium, operate totally separate from the city and just be your own private business? Well, we're bringing a significant amount of value, we believe, to the city, to the city's citizens, um, the community at large. It's very customary for um, uh, professional franchises to have relationships with civic entities to help with, whether it's land or construction. The reality is that the package that um, Austin and Precourt Sports Ventures have um, executed is very favorable for the city of Austin. In fact, there's no more favorable package out there. So we believe we're delivering significant value. Um, and in exchange, we're excited to bring the city the first major league team. Also excited, the kiddos. I know my little one, my nine-year-old, loves soccer. He plays soccer nonstop. And so I've come to love the sport as well, just as much as he does. But tell me how you are going to work and partner up with youth because I'll tell you just as a mom, sometimes soccer is not the most inexpensive sport. Yeah, yeah so one of the pledges that we will make is that we will support youth soccer. It's, um, it's a must-have for us as a, as a Major League Soccer team, certainly as a, a community asset we want to give back. Um, we have a package of community benefits um, that are supposed to start in 21. We're going to pull that forward. We want to start those much earlier than the lease even calls for. So we're starting this year in 2019. We're going to provide scholarships to deserving youth, and we're going to be very um, careful how we select those. We want to make sure that those are going to children across all parts of the city. Awesome. Those that are the most deserving, the most in need. Um, we'll have camps that we'll set up, clinics, and then we'll even send um, 30 uh, boys and girls to camps and we'll pay the tuition um, so they can learn the sport, grow the sport, fall in love with the sport. Because that could cost hundreds and hundreds of yeah, dollars just for a camp. Yes. And, and again, we want to identify those that are the most in need. And then maybe one day one of those kids is playing yeah. for Austin yeah. FC down yeah. the road. Yeah, We call those homegrown players. We'll have, <laughs> there will be kids who right now are in, you know, maybe they're in first grade, yeah. but in, you know, could be the years, star of the team. They'll be the star yeah. of the team. That's exactly right. Very uh, cool. You're talking Andy, to so many kids right now. Yeah, I, Austin FC President Andy Lockman, thank you so much. We appreciate you coming in this morning. Thank you very much. All right, let's have.